A Minotaure leads Nubia in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. She was one of the greatest queens of Nubia, and her reign was the most prosperous time for the Kushites. The site of her palace, Jebel Barkal in modern-day Sudan, is a World Heritage Site. Nubia's unique ability is Ta Seti. They get bonus production towards ranged units, and all ranged units gain combat experience faster. Mines give bonus production over strategic resources and bonus gold over luxury resources. Their unique unit is the Petati Archer. This ancient era unit is stronger and faster than the archer it replaces. It upgrades to the crossbowman. Nubian pyramids are their unique tile improvement. These require masonry and must be built on desert, desert hills, or floodplains. They provide faith and get bonuses based on adjacent districts or food from city centers. Amenatore's ability is Kandake of Meroe. She gets bonus production towards building districts, which is further improved if there is a Nubian pyramid adjacent to the city center. Since many of Nubia's production-focused abilities unlock with masonry, you're going to want to prioritize that early, and build a Nubian pyramid as soon as possible to help speed further district construction. Your Patati Archer will help protect your territory as you set up early, and ranged units will always be the core of your military strategy with the Minotauri. Will your people's prosperity be your legacy? How will you lead Nubia in Sid Meier's Civilization VI?